welcome back to Daily Language Review, week 18, day number one. Hooray, that was the worst sandwich I ever eaten, said Kyle. Nope. Correct. W O R S T. Hooray, that was the worst sandwich I ever. You, correct. You, that was the worst sandwich I ever eaten, said Kyle. I, um, so you're either going to put I have, or you could say I've. Either one works. Number two, Kyle drank two glasses of milk to get rid of the bad taste. Correct. Or you could circle and put an SP. Correct. Kyle drank two glasses of milk to get rid of the bad taste. I don't see any more. Draw a line between the prefix and the root word of the underlying word, then explain what it means. The sandwich was overstuffed and soggy. What does overstuffed mean? Yeah, so it means really full. Where would I split it between the the root word and the nice between over and stuffed over stuffed and soggy rewrite this sentence so it is not a fragment the meat not being fresh either. Okay, what do you have for number two? It is. It just doesn't look like an E. It is an E. You were right. I just put an E over the thing and it looks like my X outline. Sorry. It wasn't E. It was just cockeyed. Rewrite the sentence so it is not a fragment. The meat not being fresh either. What? Also, the meat not being fresh either. That doesn't make sense, does it? Good try, though. The meat is? We're not going to say is. The meat... It's not is... was. The meat was not fresh either. The meat was. Are you going to say the meat was not being fresh or the meat was not fresh either? All right. Well, talk to you later. Bye.